Hi, and welcome to Yoga with Tim. In today's class, we're gonna do some core focus and then open up the chest and the shoulders. Let's begin today's class in child's pose. So in your child's pose, I want you to focus on the end of the exhalation. Follow the breath all the way to the end of the exhalation. And see if you can pause for a second before you breathe in again. And when you breathe in, Try to keep the neck real calm, no neck activity. And just breathe in 80% of the way. And then when you exhale, send all the air out. Then come up onto the hands and the knees with your hands under your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Round your back, tuck your pelvis, spread through your shoulder blades. And as you inhale into cow pose, flip your sit bones up, let your lower back sink down, middle back, upper back, roll your chin up. And as you exhale, roll the other way. Inhale into cow. And exhale into cat. Come to neutral and one leg at a time, step into plank position. Oh, your head's right there, huh? Hold in your plank for five breaths. So instead of letting your ribs drop to the floor, draw your ribs, just like when your hands were on them, resist gravity with the front ribs. Connect rib cage to pelvis, reach the sit bones out of the lower back towards your heels. And on your next in breath, feel the full expansion. Try to keep the neck out of it. Good, now bring your right knee up to your chest. Change legs, bring your left knee up to your chest. Step that leg back and stretch back into downward facing dog. Press your left big toe mount without your rib cage falling, raise your right leg up behind you. Then shift the plank, pull your knee up and step your foot all the way up by your thumb. Drop your back knee down, inhale, come up, raise your arms up. Exhale the arms into cactus position. Inhale, arms back up. Hands to the mat. Lift your back knee up an inch and stretch your right leg towards straight as you reach the hips back. Rebend your right knee, stretch the back leg towards straight as you float your arms back behind you. Lean into your right heel and step up into bent knee warrior three. Without your left foot touching the ground, come up to stand, bring your knee up, raise your arms up. Lower your left leg down, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, find length, bend the knees if you need to, hands to shins, come up halfway. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come into plank pose. And as you hold in your plank, connect your rib cage, bring your left knee up to your chest. Keep your collarbones broad, upper ribs broad, Change legs, bring your right knee up. Keep the neck long, keep reaching the sit bones out of your lower back. 
Step that leg back and reach back into downward facing dog. As you press down through your right big toe mound, raise your left leg up, inhale. Exhale, knee to chest, step your foot up by your thumb. Drop your back knee down to the ground as you inhale, come up. Exhale, cactus arms, little back bend in your upper back to lift your heart. Inhale, arms back up. Hands to the mat. Lift your back knee up an inch as you stretch your hips back. Reach through your left big toe. Rebend your knee. Stretch your back leg towards straight. As you ground your heel, engage your left hip. Float your arms back behind you. Lift the hands up away from the ground. Then lean into your left leg, hands to prayer. Step into warrior three with the knee bent. Feel the heel and the outer hip, level your hips. Come up to stand without the right foot touching, bring your knee up, raise your arms up. Balance tall over the front of your left ankle and then reach your right leg down to the ground. Urdhva Hastasana. Fold forward as you exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway up, knees bent or legs straight, hands to shins or fingertips to the floor. Hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Watch out for your dog. Jeez, right in the spot. Shift to plank pose. This time, let's add a twist. So keeping your shoulder steady, bring your right knee up to your left elbow, tricep. Let your hips turn, pull up. Change legs, bring your left knee up. Press the floor away from you. Lengthen through your sit bones. Step the leg back, stretch back, downward facing dog. Raise your right leg up behind you, inhale. Exhale, step your foot up by your thumb. This time, back knee stays up, but bends a little bit. Inhale, come up into crescent. Exhale, clasp your hands behind your back. Roll your shoulders back, open up your chest. As you inhale, a little more bend in your back knee, lengthen the tailbone down, back bend in your upper back, lift your heart. As you exhale, fingertips to the ground. Stretch your right, right leg towards straight. Pull the hips up and back. Rebend your right knee. Stretch your arms back behind you. This time adding on, take your arms out to the side like goalpost arms, cactus arms, arms at a 90 degree angle. As you reach to the elbows and lift the wrists up away from the ground, do an extra exhalation here to make sure that the ribs are still connected to your pelvis. You're not cheating the ribs forward to lengthen your spine. Lengthen through the core of your spine here. Then bring hands to prayer, lean into bent knee warrior three. Without your left foot touching, come up to stand, bring your knee up, raise your arms up. Now turn your thigh out as much as you can. See how much external rotation you can get? Cross your ankle over your knee, bring hands to prayer, and sit back like you're sitting into chair pose. Drive through your right heel, come back up to stand, knee up and arms up. Stretch your leg down to the ground, keep your arms up. Adding on this time, side bend over to the right. With your right hand, take a hold of your left wrist. Reach down through your left hip to your left heel. Imagine your side body like gills as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, see if you can soften a little deeper. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up halfway, whether it's fingertips, legs bent or straight. Hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Adding on here, set the knees down, lower down onto the ground and inhale into cobra pose. 
Exhale, stretch back, downward facing dog. Raise your left leg up, press down through your right big toe mount. Shift a plank, pull your knee up, step your foot up by your thumb. Drop your back knee, little bend in the back knee as you inhale, come up into crescent. Then clasp your hands behind your back, roll your shoulders back and open up your chest. A little more bend in the back knee as the inner thigh spins back, move the buttock in and down, back bend in your upper back. So from just behind your heart, go forward and up. Then lean your chest out over your knee, fingertips to the ground, stretch the left leg towards straight. As you fold forward, reach your hips up and back. Rebend your knee, float your arms back behind you. And then bring the arms out to the side in cactus position. Do a full exhalation to find your core again. Draw the ribs in. Lengthen the sit bones. Lengthen your spine out through your neck. So just notice how much we tend to compensate by sagging in that area and giving up the core. See if you can reach the elbows away from each other. Lift your wrists up higher without letting your ribs sink. Stay connected. Now bring your hands to prayer and lean into Bent Knee Warrior Three. Without your foot touching, come up to stand, bring the knee up and the arms up. Rotate your thigh, externally rotate. Then cross your ankle over your knee and sit back like you're sitting in a chair. Come back up to stand, knee up and arms up. Reach your right heel down to the ground. Take a hold of your right wrist. Inhale, lift up through your side ribs. Exhale, reach over to the left. As you inhale, expand through your right side like gills open up through your ribs. And as you exhale, see if you can soften a little deeper. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Maybe you can do it with straight legs now if you couldn't before. Step back into downward facing dog. Shift into plank pose. Hold your plank or do three chaturanga push-ups. One to three, your call. Then set your knees down and roll through into low cobra. Sorry, Ali. Slide your hands back by your side ribs and open up to your collarbones. See, so you firm your buttocks towards your heels. And then press up and back into downward facing dog. Shift to plank pose. Pull your left knee up to your right tricep. Change, right knee up to left tricep. Both legs back. Stretch back into down dog and raise your right leg up from the inner thigh. Keep your rib cage up. Then shift a plank. Pull your knee up and step your foot up by your thumb. Inhale, come up into crescent, maybe with the back leg straight this time. And as you exhale, bring your forearms together elbows together. Bend the back knee a bit. Inhale, lift up your belly, lift your elbows. Back bend from your upper back. Try not to sink in the lower back. Then lean your chest out over your knee. Bring your fingertips to the ground. Stretch the right leg towards straight.
Rebend your knee. Float your arms back behind you. Draw the rib cage in and down as you lift up and lengthen through your spine. Then stretch your arms forward. Firm your right outer hip in and back. See if you can keep your arms forward as you step into warrior three. This time, bring your hands to prayer and see if you can bend your left knee and bring it to the outside or back of your right shin. Then reach back into warrior three. And without your foot touching, come up to stand, bring your knee up and your arms up. This time, bend the right knee and wrap the left leg up and over. Cross your left elbow under for eagle. If you can't do the full wrap of the hands, you can just do prayer hands reaching the elbows together. Or you can cross your left elbow underneath your right and stretch the back of your right shoulder. Uncross your arms and your legs. Stand tall, mountain pose. Inhale, chair pose. Sit your hips back, stretch up. Exhale, fold forward. Squat down for crow pose. Lift your heels up, sit your buttocks back, hook your knees into your arms, see if you can lean into your chaturanga arms and balance. If not, just fake the balance and stay on your toe tips. Come into Malasana for a breath. And then hands down, step back, plank pose. With your shoulders right over your wrists. As you exhale, bring your right knee up to your chest, round your back, push the floor away from you. As you inhale, lower the knee towards the ground, hover an inch above and find neutral. Exhale, pull it back up. Step your leg back, change legs, pull your left knee up. Exhale, push the floor away and round your back. As you inhale, lower it an inch above, find neutral. Exhale, pull it back up. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise your left leg up behind you. Exhale, step your foot up by your thumb. And as you ground your heel, inhale, come up into crescent. Back thigh up, raise your arm. <clears throat> then bring hands to prayer, elbows together if possible, right in front of your heart. Little bend in the back knee, lift up your belly, lift your heart. Back bend from your upper back, stay tall to your low back. Then lean out over your knee, fingertips to the ground, stretch the left leg towards straight. Rebend your knee and float your arms back behind you. Ground your left heel, feel your left outer hip strong, stretch your arms forward. Hold there, step into your three. Then bend your left knee deeper, bring your right knee to the back of your left shin, calf, hands to prayer, and then reach back into warrior three. Without your foot touching the ground, come up to stand. Knee up and arms up. Bend your left knee, wrap your right leg up and over and cross your right arm under. Hold here for five breaths.
Uncross your arms and your legs. Stand tall in mountain pose. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Inhale, find the plank, expand the whole circumference of the rib cage. Now spin your feet to the right and take your left arm up. Side plank, Vashastasana. Change sides. Down dog, stretch back. Look in between your hands, step or hop to the front of your mat and come into crow pose, round two. Hook your knees way up high by your triceps. Exhale, air out. Feel the natural lift that comes at the end of the exhalation. Then see if you can lean into crow. When you finish your crow, come into malasa. And then slide your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee. Stretch your right arm out and twist, raise your left arm. Hold there or wrap your left arm behind your back. Release that, change sides, slide your left shoulder. Stretch your left arm out as you raise your right arm. Hold there, or wrap your right arm behind your back. Come back to center. Sit your buttocks to the ground and come into Navasana. Balance them between your sit bones and tailbone. See if you can stretch the legs towards straight without leaning back at all. Then bring the heels to the ground. Roll yourself back onto the sacrum. Pause there. Roll through the lowest lumbar. Second, third. Roll your way up to your back ribs. Hold there. And then control the upper spine down as you stretch your arms back overhead. Roll yourself back up. Sit up tall for boat pose. Then cross your legs at the shins. Put your hands down. Lean into your hands and lift your buttock up. You can press with the feet to help the lift or lift your feet up as well. Lower your butt back down. Come back into boat pose. Knees bent or legs straight. Set your feet down and roll yourself down. Find the sacrum. Fifth lumbar, fourth, third, second, first. Pause the back ribs. And then roll yourself down as you reach the arms back. Roll back up, come into Navasana. Cross your legs the other way, hands next to your hips. Pull up and back, hold there, compress. Lower your butt back down, Navasana. 
knees bent or legs straight. Feet down, roll it down. One vertebra at a time. This time, pause at the back ribs. Reach the arms back. Exhale all there out. Now see if you can take one leg forward. Don't let your back ribs touch. Or your shoulder blades, rather. You're balancing on the back bottom ribs here. Change legs. Stay up. Stay with it. I know it's hard. Both legs down. Lower your head down. And then roll yourself back up. Ooh, come back up into boat pose. Cross your legs again. And jump back into chaturanga. Or just step back into downward facing dog. You can go through vinyasa or just back into dog. Your call. Now shift to plank pose. Come into plank on your elbows. Clasp your hands and then walk into down dog on your forearms. Hide your inner heels behind you. Rotate thighs into neutral. From here, you're welcome to come into headstand, forearm balance, or handstand. Otherwise, work on holding your dolphin pose. See if you can float your right leg up into the air. Lift up higher onto your left toes. Change legs. Pull the hips up. Reach down into your forearms, collarbones broad. Neck calm. Then lower that leg down. And with your toes curled under, sit back onto your heels, upright yourself. Bring your hands to prayer. Then release your toes, point your toes back. And if it bothers your knees to sit back on your heels like this, you can put a block underneath your hips. Otherwise, if it feels all right on your knees, turn your fingers back on your left hand, plant the left hand behind you, and then reach your right arm up and over. If you're more mobile, you can try bringing the elbow back in and then lift your hips as you firm your glutes, lengthen the tailbone out of your lower back, and reach the right arm up and over for half camel, Ardu Strassen. Then come back to the starting point, change sides, either just reach the arm up and over, or from your core, lift your hips, lengthen the buttock flesh down towards the backs of your knees as you reach the arm over. Come back down, change sides. Come back down, change sides. Come back down, come onto the hands and the knees. Lie on your belly. Bend your knees and reach back with your hands for your feet. Take a couple breaths here, just to let the body feel calm in the shape. <clears throat> then start to engage your glutes. Without tensing your lower back, firm the buttock flush towards the backs of the knees. And then from there, start to roll yourself open. Keep firming the buttock in and down. And from there, if you'd like, you can start to reach the shins up and back. If you feel any compression in your lower back, just stay at the place you're at. Work on contracting the glutes and breathing.
Then lower yourself down. And let's do a little bit of the scorpion. Take your left arm out to the side. Plant your right hand as you stretch your left leg out. Sorry, Ellie. And then take your left ear to the ground as you reach your right leg up and over. If your foot doesn't come to the ground easily, you could slide a block underneath your foot. And roll back to your belly. Change sides. Roll back to your belly, and let's do some locust pose now, Shalabhasan. Clasp your hands behind your back, or you could use the strap if your shoulders are tight. Now, when you clasp your hands, you don't want your shoulders to sink onto your chest. So if you have broad shoulders, stronger, tighter shoulders, it's best to take a little bit of space. You can actually get the external rotation at the shoulder as you hold here. Lift your feet high enough so that you're not um, poking your dog in the face. And then as you engage the glutes like we practice, feel the length through the lower back, stretch the navel up the front of the spine towards the heart, and feel the collarbones from the center of your chest spreading, opening out past the tips of the shoulders. Strong in your legs, reach through your toes. Good job, lower yourself down, rest one cheek on the mat. Rest the other cheek. And then roll up into your deepest expression of up dog. Stretch up and back, down dog. And then back to where we started, come back to the kneeling position. Either do one more round of the half camels or stand up onto your knees for full camel. Or you can do the hybrid where you walk both hands back and lift the hips up. Five breaths whichever one you're going to do. Lower yourself back down. Lie down onto your back, bridge or Urvadhanyarasana. Bring your heels close to your buttock, feet hip distance, and lift up.
lower yourself down and take a breath. And then go back up, bridge or urva. If you're holding the bridge, you want to add a little hamstring strengthening. You could try to keep one foot down and lift the other. And then change. Lower yourself back down. You could, I guess you could have done the same thing from uh, Urvid on your asana as well. Open the arms out to the side and cross your right ankle over your left knee. Let your legs slowly fall over to the left as you look to your right. Settle in here for five breaths. Come back to center and change the cross of the legs. Let your legs fall over to the right. Bring it back to center and either hug your knees to your armpits or take happy baby. Shavasana Corpse Pose. Scan your body and let go of any tension that you're holding in your head, in your neck, and in your shoulders. Let go of any tension in your chest, in your back muscles, or your arms. Feel your abdominals soften, your back muscles soften. Let the hips drop and the thighs. Feel your feet and your legs completely relax. Through this stillness, let your body start to restore. Stay focused and present, watching the breath and the sensation of the flow of prana or life force energy in the body.
Then gently bend your knees. Roll over to your side. And press yourself up. Thank you. Namaste. Thanks for joining me for class today. If you're someone looking to deepen or advance your yoga practice, then I'm going to recommend that you try the Conscious Movement Community. The Conscious Movement Community or the CMC is a course that I put together for people like yourself who are interested in deepening their practice. So it'll meet you at whatever level you're at in your practice and help you to advance. In addition to that, I post exclusive weekly videos that are a little longer, a little stronger, and I introduce a little more variety with poses and more advanced poses that you'll be able to do through doing the course. Also, I have all my exclusive courses over there, including the arm balance course, the handstand course, the chakra course. I'm always posting new courses. If you want to try it out, you can do it right now for two weeks free. So you can click the link right below or in the description to give it a shot. All right, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.